Hi guys, I'm Katie Nolan. and today is Tuesday, April 30th. Martha Stewart is looking for a lover, and this is your Guyism Speed Round. Former NFL player Chad Ochocinco stumbled upon a homeless person named Pork Chop the other day and decided to take him under his wing, buying him beer and clothes and a watch and just taking him around town all day. At one point he tweeted out that maybe he could help Porkchop get laid, but if you were good at helping people score, Chad, you'd probably still have a job. NBA free agent Jason Collins came out of the closet yesterday, making him the first NBA player and the first active American athlete in any major American professional team sport to be openly gay. He isn't the first wizard, though. Of course, coming out was a huge step forward that took an unimaginable amount of bravery on Collins' part, and of course it was only a matter of time that other people would out themselves as bigots. Chris Broussard, senior writer for ESPN the magazine, went on the network shortly after Collins made his announcement and said that as an openly gay man, he was, quote, walking in open rebellion to God and to Jesus Christ. Unlike, of course, the rest of the NBA, who prefer to cruise into open rebellion to God in a Maserati with their mistress riding shotgun. Martha Stewart has set up a profile on Match.com because she says she wants to go to bed with somebody. Her profile obviously doesn't use her actual name or her actual photo, but your bed better use her actual sheets or this shit's gonna be over before it even starts. I bet she'll bring along a nice bouquet of spices to make your semen taste like a delicious pot roast. Happy 80th birthday to music legend Willie Nelson, who's looked 80 since he was about 25. On May 6th, Chick-fil-A's Washington, D.C. area locations are hosting a medieval-themed mother-son date night in honor of Mother's Day. The company says, quote, We understand the importance of mother-son relationships and want to encourage area moms to come to Chick-fil-A, enjoy their son's company over a meal, and have fun. Chick-fil-A, where you can date your mom, just not a dude. Teen mom star Farrah Abraham was actually able to sell her sex tape for a million dollars. It's creatively named Backdoor Teen Mom, which obviously alludes to the fact that this isn't about her vagina, so that's a first. Given this um, career move, I guess we'll call it, she's now made more money off her holes than Shia LaBeouf did off his. The Federal Reserve has unveiled the new $100 bill, and general consensus is it's pretty ugly. But you know what? So are lots of men, and as long as they're still worth a lot, that's not going to stop them from getting in your pants. Isn't that right, ladies? A 30-year-old father in New Hampshire spent his entire life savings, over $2,500, playing one carnival game in the hopes that he would win an Xbox Connect, which, for the record, is worth 300 bucks. Uh, but he didn't. He spent all that money, and all he walked away with was a giant stuffed banana with dreadlocks. It only added insult to injury when he broke the news to his wife and she said, Jamaican me bananas. I had to sneak in one bad one. And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know which part made you laugh the loudest. If you haven't laughed yet today, there'll be a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your Tuesdays, and I'll see you all right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. I love these jokes. Oh my gosh, this is like... This is how the sausage is made. I'm making your trackpad so greasy with Ew. chip stuff. Happy 80th birthday to Willie Nelson, who has looked 80 since he... <laughs> since he was 25. How do you do it without laughing at the jokes while you're saying it? Like, what's the secret for that? You just think about dead babies. Or are you eating chips? Mm-hmm.